This is Corolla Digital. Again, everyone, this is Brian Howie, and welcome to the Great Love Debate, where each week we try and answer the question: Why is everyone still single? With us, as always, the debate team behind the glass. We've got Kalen. Hello. We've got Keiko. Hey, hey. And joining me today, a couple of actually single people. Every once in a while, somebody sneaks in here who's not single. They are stars of the E Online series Hashtaggers, and I don't binge watch anything, and I watched all of them. It is uh, very funny and very fantastic. She has appeared in a bunch of television shows, actress, host, author, comic, Kiwi, Kimberly Crossman. Hello. Thank you. And with her, the the definitely less attractive (laughs) comedian, actor, guy on the go, Pete Garcio. Is that right? Nope. Garcia? I'm more attractive. <laughs> oh, no. Is that right in the pronunciation? I know what you meant. Oh. It's Gersio. Gersio. I got the accent on the wrong syllable. There we're, you go. We're, we're equally handsome, mm-hmm. right? We have the same bra size. We so sure do. Zero. <laughs> negative No, three. that was more about, yeah. She, you, that's, I don't know if that's a negative on her or you. Oh, yeah, no. no. She's, it's on she's um, significantly more attractive than you. But the day's young. Hey, mm-hmm. somebody's got to sell the show. It's not that's me. That's right. She does. So, anyway. Anyway, I watched this show, and it is uh, super fast and funny. You can you can swallow them all quickly. You had a bunch of guest stars like William Shatner and Kevin Smith and Heidi Montag and our friend uh, Stasi Schroeder, and they're all really funny. And basically, um, tell us what the show is about quickly. It's a workplace comedy of an affordable social media agency <laughs> run by me somehow. Yeah. And uh, we kind of help stars with their, like, ghost tweet for them. So each episode we have a different celebrity who's going through a, some kind of crisis, like Will Sasso posted his own dick pic that didn't go viral. Yeah, and so and we have really to deal with that. really mad about it, yeah. Super mad, as I would be. If I put a nude out there and no one gave a shit, that would not he be did. a good day. It's sort of like The Office, except in Sell It Paper, we... Uh, we we screw with celebrity social media accounts. It, it is, and it is funny, and it is a satire, but it is really smart and shockingly spot on. Uh, a, if you know this town, or B, if you know something about celebrity. But the reason why I liked having you guys on here but is, is dating itself is a brand. You sort of need to hone your message. You need to portray an image. Sometimes you send the dick pics. And you got to kind of know what you're sending out to the world in order to date or be dated. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Sure. Are you dating Ms. Crossman? No, and not out of lack of trying. Here's the thing. Um, on my lens, I feel like I'm a great catch. It's like, I've got my own yeah, shit going on. On the surface, I see surface. nothing wrong with you. Thank you. Beneath the surface, though, there's a lot going on. That's not true. I feel like everything <laughs> beneath the surface is great, too, so I'm just a little unsure like the arrogance in me is like maybe like you're too intimidating. <laughs> like, now, now you're, you're, I don't know. Well, you're from New Zealand. I'm still trying to figure it so out because li- you're like it's a brand. Know your brand. I'm like I know it, and it's great. Question mark. You're New Ze- You're from New Zealand, and maybe yes. the guys like me would be afraid to make an Australian joke, and that it's not the same. Like shrimp on the Barbie. Yeah. That's not you. But then I'm, you, yeah, it's, it's funny because it is a completely different country. Right, We're just like kind of close together. But it's scary to us. We're like, yeah, is like, that Australia? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and it's so far away. I hear they fuck sheep there. That's a real thing that happens. Yeah. So I guess maybe well, that's Let's name it. some famous Kiwis. Russell Crowe. Yes. Nicole Kidman. Yes. Who else we got? Um, Kim Crossman. Kim Crossman. Kim Crossman. Those her. are the three. Uh, Lord. No, we've got some great people. Is Lord yeah. one? She's from New Zealand. Is she uh, one? Is she, is she one of you people? Yeah. She, she started as a sheep, actually. Yes, she did. <laughs> She's so successful. She's still she in the train. became a pop star. Uh, Hugh Jackman is an Aussie. He's well, he, interestingly enough, I think was started in New Zealand, but then Australia is such a bigger force that they're like, yeah, we're going to, we're going to take him. Claim so. him real quick. Wolverine, <laughs> that's ours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for them to claim me. I'm like, come on, do it. Just do it. So, Don't let New Zealand hear that. <laughs> how, how old were you the first time you came to, came to the States? Came to, uh. Was that good? How that, was that? That was oh, really good. Okay. Crikey, <laughs> that was good. We can all fall into it. Um, yeah, I first came out to America to work in 2010 for Nickelodeon. So I've come back and forth a little bit over the past kind of five years. but. And you're here now, though? I'm here now. How often do you go forth? 
go forth. Uh, I traveled back and forth nine times last year, so I'm still oh, wow. very nomadic, living this double life. Basically, Qantas, or is that Australian no, only? Yeah, New Zealand. <laughs> that's that's Australian. See, Damn. that's why the Let's dates don't see, happen. This see, is that's it. Why, see, we just we try the and references. They do the, with the references, joke, and you're yeah. like, no. I'm no. such a people pleaser, though. I would go, sure, yeah. Oh my gosh, of course. You are too. You're affable to a fault. <laughs> yeah, we could throw shrimp on the bar. We could totally do that. And, uh, and Pete, where are you from in real life? Uh, I grew up in Chicago. Oh, you did. Where yes. in Chicago? Uh, Deerfield, North Shore suburbs. But okay. I worked in uh, downtown. We are uh, taking the Great Love Debate tour for fifteen shows uh, to Chicago. Oh, when? And, uh, opens March thirtieth at oh, the good. Uh, Greenhouse Theater. And Chicago is a really good city to date. It is one of the best cities for singles because, as a fat guy, you can still get a hot chick. <laughs> they don't mind. There's hot girls wow. running around with just regular dudes in Chicago. It's amazing. That's incredible. What's that about? Yeah, you might want to go home. Yeah, really. <laughs> What's that about? Maybe yeah. they see beyond the surface. You're like, you're kidding me. No, I mean, that's. I just wondered if what, what about well, Chicago? Well, the, the Midwest is closer to getting it right than either the coast. I'm from New York. Yes. I live in L.A. Yes, closer okay. to justice. Yeah, I've, I've brought up that the pro, I think the biggest dating problem in, in Southern California is that it is so nice, quality of life, day-to-day, sunshiny, whatever, that the only thing that can sort of mess that up is the ickiness of dating. Like, I'm very comfortable today. I don't want to sit across from somebody I don't know. Why would I want to do that? And, yeah. I, and I think in, in Chicago, it's freezing cold. I better find a warm body. Right. In here, it's another person might screw up this delicious breakfast burrito <laughs> in 78 degrees. Exactly. Like, I might have to give somebody a bite. Yeah. You know, I might have to share. And we don't want to do that. Are you online dating? No, I've never done that. I mean, I've definitely, like, stalked people from Instagram and, like, have been stalked back and, like, I don't that, think but Instagram I've never... is on. Although people do. People see each other yeah. on Instagram and Facebook and they're like, yeah. would you like to go out? But no, I'm not. I, we I'm had a woman who, who came to our show in New York the other night who's sticking with the Craigslist. Oof. And not the casual encounters, Oof. just the women meeting men. And she was like, Jeez. it's more honest there. I'm like, honest about what? Wow. Being a- and she was really adamant that Craigslist is where to, to do the dating. And she does all her <laughs> shopping at dollar stores? Yeah. I didn't under. And I don't know. And she cleans all her clothes in you a know? dirty river? Yeah. I don't know. She made I'm like, you know, it's evolved. There's other things. And she was not having it. I haven't, yeah, I haven't dabbled in that. Not, I'm not wow. against it. I just haven't dabbled in that kind of world yet. Um, but I've never really been on a proper date either. So oh, I'm, well, like, we're I'm go- like the other end of the are, spectrum. We are going to get into that sure. right after this. Okay, you probably already know about Barstool Sports and their hugely popular podcasts, KFC Radio, Mail Time, and Daily Mail. And if you don't, well... Get with the program. Come on. You're going to want to know who they are because those maniacs have two amazing new shows. One from Dave Portnoy, also known as The Blog Father, who's talking business and comedy and the business of comedy. The other show is called Pardon My Take. It's a good old-fashioned sports show full of opinions that just might make your head explode. And you can subscribe to both right now at iTunes and PodcastOne.com. So do it. It's bar stools, man. You know it's going to be good. And we are back. And Kim just dropped the bombshell that she's uh-huh. never been on a proper date. What What do you mean by that? Well, well, you've like, opened Pandora's oh, box. Oh God. <laughs> proper date means pick me up at my house and feed me? Yeah, I guess like someone that you don't know, really, being like... Uh- I had a t- hey, I've only again. You're laughing. You're laughing. I'm older than you. I've only had ten in my whole life. I know what's about what you're oh, about yeah. to hear because Kim and I have discussed this okay. at length in great detail. S- spill it. So yeah, I've never really had that. I mean, most people who I've like dated or been in a relationship with, I've known. I mean, there's four million people in New Zealand. You know everyone by first names. Like, <laughs> it's not like it's, John, Sally, yes, Sheep, uh, Sheep, you know, Sally. Yeah, you know Shane. <laughs> yes, probably. How was that, Kim? Was it getting better? What's that? Is my accent getting better? My Kiwi accent? Uh, yeah, you can he, work on it a little bit. He couldn't bit. tell that you did one. <laughs> yeah, he was too busy laughing at his I know joke. it's so <laughs> subtle. My Kiwi accent is a level only sheep can hear. Yes, yeah. it's very it's good. very good. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit of a newbie. I have not done that. And it's not out of lack of trying. And I don't know. Help me, Pete. Well, can, I mean, lack of trying. Can a guy ask you out? I would love them to. Well, why don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you it's seem, like it's well, I saw the you, mystery. I, I saw you when you first came in. You were smiley. We hugged. We, we hu- were, you were very open with the hug. Is it too much? I'm, oh no, I was like... in. No, I was down. I was good with the hug. So I'm saying your body language seems approachable, which is the number one problem why a lot of women don't get asked right. out. Pete, what are we missing here? I think <clears> maybe <throat> they want to sleep with me. They don't want to like feed you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they also want to sleep with you. 
That doesn't mean they only want to sleep with you. They also want to sleep with you. And that's an ass- I don't even know if that's what it is. Help me. Okay. <laughs> Got a bunch of things you, here. You study her. We're okay. going to get to you I in really a minute. Have, so. So, so I have spent uh, I have spent hours and hours and hours locked in on a set with Kim, in a changing room with Kim, uh, at dinner with Kim, and uh, we, we understood each other within three minutes of meeting each other. It was like we had known each other for 10 years. We just, boom, I get you, you get me. It was yeah. like, we were like kids in the back of a long car ride hitting each other right. while dad yells, action. Right. <laughs> um, so... The thing about Kim is she is very charming and silly and happy and funny and open and outgoing, but she's also really, really, really deeply funny, mm-hmm. and she's Kate McKinnon, Kristen Wiig funny. Mm-hmm. That's but intimidating she, to a funny guy like you. No, I love it. Oh, you do? No, insecure funny guys find oh. that. I yeah, confident oh, comedian. Oh, God. Nothing makes me more more happy and, and turned on than a really funny girl that I'm already attracted to. Right. And I scored on this show because Patty and Kim are both really comedy goofy brains. Yeah. And um but when I met Kim, I went, "Oh, look, it's country club tennis coach Barbie. Mm-hmm. She's going to have nothing to say." Right. And then she's got the mouth of a sailor right. and telling me these gross like mishap sex stories after 3 minutes of meeting her. I'm like, "I love this girl. She's a nutcase." Right. But what you see is not necessarily what you get with Kim. You Uh-oh. you see this like this girl the who's dark so underbelly. Yeah, she's so cutesy and she's so she's so Malibu Barbie, but not on the inside. She's Uh-oh. just just a pile of garbage. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on in there? Where did that come from? I mean, I think being foreign. I think being New Zealand. But is everybody in New Zealand that funny? You're exceptionally funny. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Well, do you? Um, I, I bring this up a lot. That the okay. pretty girl wants to be funny. The funny girl wants to be smart. The smart girl wants to be Bingo! pretty. Okay. Yes. So it's about how you're defined. Okay. Okay. No matter how funny you are, if I went out with you, I'm still going out with that pretty blonde, pretty blonde girl. Okay, and she's also funny. You, if I, if a girl went out with you, he's he's, he's going out with this really funny guy. Oh, and he's good looking too. It's yeah. second. It's yeah. it's your friends are going to say what does he do, and your friends are going to say what does she look like. Yes. That is how it is defined. So for you, you want to be. I assume career-wise, it's good for you to be funny and be well-rounded or whatever because there's a million blondes in this town and, and mm-hmm. whatever. So I, does your professional then persona trickle into your dating thing? Like I need to be funny performing all the time and sometimes the guy's just trying to buy you a breakfast burrito. Like I don't know. Oh, maybe. I mean, <laughs> what did I feel Keiko, like? can you get the couch can, in here? Can, yeah. We, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much. Watching you deal with this is just so amusing. Your head's because I'm like, should I – Try be less good looking. <laughs> no, me. I shouldn't. Or be less funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So many I'm choices. I change everything. I'm just, I guess here's the thing. I'm no different around anybody. I'm just me. And yeah, I guess maybe it's too much. And then it's like, whatever. Whoever likes me will like me for all of me. All right. Well, here, here's, a que- <laughs> here's a question that's going to take some honesty. Okay. Are you better looking here or in New Zealand? Meaning, is everybody hot in New Zealand, or we don't know? Like, where do you where do you stand out more? I don't know. Well, you're gonna have to think about that. I mean, I think I stand out in New Zealand, but not because of how I look. I think the energy that I bring it doesn't fit nah. there. Yeah. You're doing it on a looks based thing. I don't. Well, I know. think that's what, well, I don't find well, myself because like Los super Ange- attractive. Los Angeles is a two dimensional. T- Kaylin, is she super attractive? She is very attractive. Thank you. <laughs> okay. She's very I cute. I looked at you She's so validating. She's cute. Okay. She's yes. cute. Do you very I don't, cute? I don't are recognize you a, that. Are you offended by the word cute? Not at all. A lot of girls are. Oh. Speaking of cute, Keiko? Yeah. Where, where do you stand on cute? Do I think that Kim is cute? No, you. No, when, when you, you, you hear, hear it too, cute. and cute is little and whatever, a lot of girls who are get cute first don't like it because it's putting you in this little childlike box. Well, I don't like being in a childhood, childlike box or a childhood box either. But uh, now I don't mind cute. I think cute is fine. I mean, it's there are alternatives that would be a lot worse than that. My yeah. friend Juliet said that she was always called cute because she was short, so she started giving a lot of blowjobs because they're not cute. There you go. That was I've, literally her full. And she was from Chicago. I, have, <laughs> I will admit, this is something I've never vocalized before. I have never received a cute blowjob. 
Exactly. Hasn't happened. And, and that was there literally her approach. She's like, I would go over the top sexually, aggressively, because I wanted to get shed the cute label. I have never had a girl come up from a blowjob and I thought, aw. <laughs> that was so cute. Never. I've never thought, aw. That's so funny. I feel like I feel more comfortable with cute than sexy because I don't feel sexy. I don't even know sexy. <laughs> I like, turn into like <laughs> robot man. Do you the need, nice do you thing need is... to take a pole dancing class yeah. or something? Oh, I actually teach pole dancing. Oh, it's so well, funny. Oh, see. <laughs> It's actually pole fitness, but whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what the fi- it's fitness class. That's what you don't take say. yourself seriously enough to consider yourself sexy or accept, yes, I'm sexy, which I love. Because if somebody says yeah. you're sexy, you're like, what? I'm like, that's stupid. Are but you- I'm not. I don't move slowly and with ease. Are you? Are, <laughs> you can't are you? Say that. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> like, but you know, like, uh, whatever. No, no, are no, you? Uh, what footwear do you have on? What kind of footwear do you I have? I have on? like a, a boot. I have heel option in the car. Oh, you want to do a catwalk? What was that? No, look no I was just wondering what you have um, because oh, you're you're short. Something. Right? How tall are you? Yes, five two. You're five two. Keiko, how tall are you? Almost five two. Oh, all right. Almost. So, are you aware when a guy is talking to you that he may be interested in you, or are you just giggle and you're like, eh, I don't have any you idea. You make me sound stupid. I'm not no, that, stupid. No, that no, that's not stupid. It's disarming. You, <laughs> I'm gonna call you on that one. <laughs> you laugh. You laugh easily. Yes, and I you do. smile frequently. Yes, and those are wonderful things. Don't ever change that. Great. But to a guy. If she's, I'm like, I, he just saw, he just laughed at that guy and smiled at that guy. It might be tough for him to oh, read, like, oh, she's interested, she's a which, slut. which is, which is, <laughs> which is equally, or which is equally opposite of just the permanent resting bitch face. That's not better either. So it has to be a little bit of a combo platter. Absolutely. Um, I I find it really rewarding when I make a girl laugh. That always feels good. Every guy likes that. Yeah. But especially if that girl is really funny. Yeah, it's a higher standard. Yeah, but Kim has this thing where I think Kim should run for office because she will kiss every baby. She will shake every hand. She will smile at every single person, and every person will leave going, she only wanted to talk to me. Like yeah, Bill Clinton has that. Yeah, you're the only person in the room right now. Right, and Kim has that, and she is. She does the the thumb, not the thumbs up, but the politician hand. They don't point. They're not allowed to point, so they do the holding your thumb. Very nice uh, political thing. Exactly. I know a few women who dated um, Warren Beatty back in the day. You know who Warren Beatty is? Dick oh, Tracy. God. He's a Dick Tracy. He's very famous. Okay. Um, you know Dick Tracy? Yes. I can't. Okay. I can't. Google sometime, when you get out of here. Google Warren Beatty. I sometimes can't famous. tell. I'm like, is it because she's foreign? Or no, stupid. Warren Beatty's Warren Beatty. That's like you know, anyway. He famous. He was a famous Hollywood Lothario, an actor or yes. whatever. And and I so I've known some people who dated him back in the '70s at the height of it. And I'm like, why were you so uh, into him when he clearly was dating everybody else? And they're like, when he was with me. He was so into me yes. that you forgot about everybody else because he had an innate ability to do that. Yes. And that is a challenge, you know, especially in a in a social media ADD, what else is out there, swipe left, swipe right generation. It is tough to focus in the moment on anybody. Mm-hmm. I do that. Absolutely do that. I am in no way Warren Beatty Lothario, but there have been well, times where I've been seeing more than one girl at a time. And... When I'm with you, I am 100% present with you. When you, uh, how long have you been in LA? Uh, eight years. Eight years. So you've been here a while. Yeah. Um, are you like kid in a candy store because you get to work and be around all of these beautiful girls all the time? Or are you, or is it frustrating? How does that sort of manifest itself? Um, I'm a little bit kid in a candy store because um, I'm, I'm. A kid in a candy store with no money? No, I got some <laughs> money. I've got a good amount of money. Um, I am I am not going out to clubs and trying to hit on every girl. I, yeah. I, I don't. I, I have a couple of friends. Is that who your will, club voice? That was your club voice. That was worse than my Kiwi I was accent. Doing an, <laughs> that was a friend. That was a comic friend of mine. I was going into who goes up to every girl, and talks like this. Hey, happy birthday! It's not my birthday. Oh, anyway, nice shirt. I'm like, oh god. Oh, that sounds so, like that's a good move. Yeah, he just, I used to go out sometimes at night when I was absolutely desperate. Like, really? it's my birthday, and then you'd get some hugs and kisses and attention that you wouldn't normally get. <laughs> Smart, huh? It's my birthday again. It's my birthday. You were here last night. I'm 78 years old. I I lived in New York. You're never going to see the same people again. It's my birthday. Yeah, I I really, really like the... um, I always try to tell people who don't live in L.A. how attractive L.A. is on average. I go, take the top 5% of your high school, the hottest 5%. Mm -hmm. Now add every other high school, all of those people (laughs) live in L.A. You can be super good looking and come here and it's like, 
yeah, everyone's super good looking. That doesn't count for anything here. Yeah, a little bit. It's white noise. Like, you don't totally. notice. See, I noticed we just did a, a few shows in Minneapolis. And I, I uh, thought there was an extraordinary amount of good looking people because the good looking people there were working at like Wells Fargo. Yes. They're working at Target. They were yes. in regular like, jobs. What are you so doing it, here? It seemed very strange to me. I'm like, what? Did I get some sort of alternate reality? That's what it Where feels here like. it's very clear because nobody's actually, anyway, in showbiz, nobody's during the daytime. They're just, you're on your way to your pole dance class. Yeah. You know, or <laughs> to get your hair done. Well, it's pole fitness. Pole fitness. Pole fitness. Let's just be, to be clear. Pardon. Pole, pole fitness class. So it's a little <laughs> bit little bit different. So where are you doing? Are you online dating? Uh, I have in the past. I haven't been recently. Where are you getting your ladies? Uh, I dated. <laughs> where am I getting my ladies? Where, where, are you, where are you getting that gash from? Where, <laughs> where are you getting that? We don't say gash as much as you guys do. Sorry. sorry. Oh. That's your go-to. That that's your go-to, go-to filthy word. Yeah, that, that gash. That's very sorry. filthy. That's sorry. what I'm saying. Oh, that, like. She's she's 88 pounds and she's like, you want to see my gish? I'm like, yeah, that's oh, like God, a Lou what? Reed song. Really? That's yeah. just filthy. <laughs> That's like what a townie <laughs> says in a bar, and you're like, oh, God. Yeah. I bet that guy has a prescription that's, that's for so, roofies. That's so Auckland. It's, yeah, it's, yay! <laughs> a New Zealand reference. It's the only one I'm out. Hometown. Okay, I'm officially out of New there Zealand references. Um, to put in your words, I usually get ladies um, through a stand-up context. I will see a girl will come up to me after a stand-up show, or um, oh, I'm a... I'm you're a, the one. I'm the one, yeah. You're the um, one doing it after the show. I do. I don't. Uh, I. I'm also. You wouldn't know it by looking at me, but I'm. Um, I'm a hip hop dancer, mm-hmm. and uh, that's always surprising because I'm like a Midwest Jew. I was going to say surprising because it's 2016. That too. <laughs> do you time travel? Where do you do this hip hop dancing? What dance should I be doing in 2016? <laughs> well, I, I don't Polka? know. What are you in breaking two electric boogaloo? Like where are you doing this break dancing or it's hip hop dancing? Is there a difference? <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> the fact that you don't know that. <laughs> Speaks volumes. <laughs> yeah, that's more about me. What are you, hip hop dancing? What are you, are you doing that hip hop in pole fitness? Don't what are the trip kids, on any moon candy. What are the kids doing these days? Come on now. So when you're a kid in the candy store. What are you dancing store, over at the soda pop okay, machine so fountain? You, so you hit on the audience at your shows. I absolutely do not hit on the audience. <laughs> hey, that last joke was great. What's up, girl? Yeah. See, uh, we do the Great oh, Love yeah. Debate Tour. We do a lot of theaters, but we do a lot of comedy clubs. So essentially, I'm headlining the comedy club. Uh-huh. The only ones talking to me after the show are the guys who'd be like, how do I talk to a girl or whatever? I'm like, I'm done. Show's over. Go talk to a <laughs> By girl. By not talking to yeah, me I'm like, right don't, now. I'm like, bro. literally, like, I have nothing to say. Don't talk to me. And yeah. they're like, I'm like, stop talking to me about a girl who's not here. And we got 100 girls right there. Go talk to them. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's a little bit easier. So you never online. Uh, I have in the past. I, I met a girl on OKCupid four or five years ago, and we dated for like a year and a half. It was pretty fantastic, yeah, actually. People still like OKCupid. It's, it's tough on online because you have nothing but text. You have nothing. There's no video. There's no sound. All you get is writing. And maybe you're a really, really charming person, but you can't write. Yeah, but I, I think that's an advantage for you. Absolutely. It's a huge advantage for me. Absolutely. I can write. I know what me to say. Too. That's why I never did it because I felt manipulative. I felt like I knew where the bodies were buried. You I knew were what to cheating. say. You were just Well, I wanted to know that they clean. liked me for me, not what I said. And people are like, that's all you are is some clever lines anyway, so don't not use it. Yeah. And, but it was a little bit like I'm like, I know exactly what to say. And that is a little bit – I felt like that was sort of peeking under the rug kind of thing. You, know? <laughs> you felt like it was, you had an unfair I advantage. I had an unfair advantage. I wanted a level playing field. <laughs> These girls didn't know what they were walking I know, into. You don't know. When Brian sends you a you message, know, so I was try out, to stay dry. I, I I was, you I was, can't. I was out on a date once, and this girl's like, it's, it, it, it sounds like you've said that before. And I'm like, you've said I love you before, and you can say it again. And she goes, it sounds like you've said that before. Ooh, <laughs> she was like, seeing right through you. And I'm yeah. like, just because I say it better doesn't mean it's not right. Right. It you was know? true for them. It was true, true for, for them. It was true for you. Yeah, they don't, they don't, it, and it's sort of like a, a comedian, or you, you always want to seem like this is the first time this line's ever come out of your mouth. Yes. That's why stage acting theater looks differently because it looks like you're delivering a line. It is a different type a of context. It's a different type of sure. acting, you know? Nobody watching a play goes, is this the first time they've all done this? <laughs> we know it's rehearsed. It should be rehearsed. But on a date, any kind of premeditated anything is like, 
Mm, am I really getting you, or am I getting I know. your prepared well, that's, material? That's why it's tough to date actresses in this town, because you're dating somebody who wants to spend a lot of time being somebody else. Yes. And <laughs> that's a little scary, too. That is and why we, uh, I, will never, I will never list my career as actor first. Uh-huh. I'm a comic, and also on this show that I'm on, I pretend to be an actor around a bunch of actors. Yeah. But when I hear, I'm an actor, and I go, okay, okay, we can't be super close friends if that's the first thing have you, list. you uh Have you kissed a girl on camera yet? Day two of shooting yes. this show. Yes. Oh, did you kiss her? No, kiss I him? kissed. I thought you binge watched the whole thing. I didn't see you kiss anybody. Well, then you weren't which watching. Which one? Kiss Patty. Pat, the only other girl on the show. No. Oh, I mean, which uh, which episode was it? The second one. We we violently make out on the kitchen table. Which no? Who was the guest? Johnny was Weir. Johnny Weir. The figure oh, skater. Yeah, yeah. Guy. No, I didn't see that one. Oh, oh I guess I didn't see them all. Yeah. So you got, so that was your, so so you watched it. Did you have multiple takes? We, Did you botch a take intentionally? I told them that I was going to a bunch of times. This was the first time I had kissed anybody on any in any context because I'm still a virgin. So um, this was Patty and I met, and then the second day of shooting, it was they have a – I mean, it's a table clearing, throw each other onto the table, violent makeout scene, like right. a cartoon. I Do mean, you just discuss the most absurd... it? Do you rehearse it? Um, well, we didn't actually kiss until the first take. Uh-huh. We had met the day before, and I'm like trying to be a gentleman. I'm trying to go. Yeah, she's hot. Um, she's super, she's super hot. hot. Yeah. And yeah. also, Kim funny. She's also like, she's a groundling. I mean, mm-hmm. she is no. deeply, really so she's funny. Like a, she's like a rich man's Kim. She's like a rich, <laughs> she's like a much more attractive <laughs> she's Kim. She's much better she's than funnier, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the lesser. She's Kim like... 2. I, I just went and saw her at the Groundlings, and she crushed. She's mm. such a killer, yeah. and it was such an honor to make out with her. But um, we we talked about it before, and I was like, I'm going to let you you know, set the pace here because you're a woman. I yeah. don't want to be aggressive. I don't want to make you feel unsafe or uncomfortable or right. any of those things. And she was like, go for it. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's do this. And uh, we had met one day prior, uh-huh. and when they said action, like the entire crew was like craning their necks. Were you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. I'm really in the scene just watching them. Like this oh. is embarrassing for yeah. everyone involved. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was amazing. We did it like six or seven times, and I mean, we were doing it so hard we were knocking our teeth together, yeah. hurting after each one. But she's so committed to the joke, yeah. to making it funny, yeah. that it was just a, f- a joy. It was just let's. The, the, we were laughing after. That's why it's it always. Fantastic. What was the what's the uh, the sketch in SNL that they did for a lot of times when Fred Armisen was a family and they were a very friendly family where they would all yeah just they would make all kiss on the, the mouth time. over and over oh, yeah and, and they, they, they were they were so <laughs> going for it all the time yeah, like like great. every time they re would do another um, episode of that they would always take Up it to a ante, higher yeah, place. It's fantastic. The kissing the mouth kissing family. And what about you? Do you have you kissed several boys on screen? I have. Do yeah. You, is it weird to watch it? To watch it To back. watch it after or watch it like, um, is that the way I look, kissing a guy? I think it depends <laughs> on the experience. I'm yet to, I haven't done a sex scene. I've had to like insinuate going in to do a blowjob. That's kind of the extent of television making out that I've done. Who hasn't? Um, yeah. Who hasn't? <laughs> My mother cried. My poor mother cried. She's like, the neighbors rang. Like, I just... <laughs> The neighbors, <laughs> the rang. neighbors rang. Oh, wow. she's so sad. That's one it's of those so kiwi words. I'm trying to switch you <laughs> oh. over. Some we say called instead oh. of rang. Oh, they rang. Then, yeah, those are the little things I try to catch yeah. her. She's like, tell me if I say anything that's I too foreign. Fit in I know. Here. She's it's trying like, to slip like, in as American. Yeah, we don't know um, that. She's like, I know this guy called David. I'm like, it's named David. <laughs> His name. We're not is in your David. crazy sheep world right now. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, I've had to do like, I, I mean. I don't mind watching myself. I actually find it a really good tool for learning and stuff. So yeah. even when it comes to kissing, I'm always looking at it objectively as an actor of like what works, what doesn't work. But yeah, there's definitely been some uncomfortable or like not nice kisses. And that you're ask, like, you watch it and you're like, and yeah. And then they ask you out after. Much. Has that happened? Um, Would you like to take this off screen? Like, is that, does that happen? You want to do an extra take? <laughs> I don't think so. Most of the people the that I've had trailer. to like hook up with, I've been working with for a really extended period of time. So, and it's not that most of the people I have to kiss actually have girlfriends or wives, and it's a whole nother. Or thing. they're gay. I haven't actually yeah. had that happen. Or yeah, they're gay yeah, immediately after your kiss. Yeah, you know, so I turn the them, old lines. I'm the Turner. <laughs> Scratch. Don't turn away when you laugh into the mic. Give me the props, man. Come on. All right. Oh, old, scratch an old, act. Scratch an actor. Find Kim an actress. The Turner. <laughs> that's the old line. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. You get the mouthful of hair when you're going for the mm-hmm. kiss. You know. That's not a good thing. 
<laughs> um, all right, we talked a little bit about when we started about your show is it's hash it's hashtaggers on E Online if you haven't uh, if you haven't seen it. Yet. It's a, it's really funny. It's mm-hmm. very funny, and um, a, it is yeah. about creating uh, sort of branding opportunities and social media things for celebrities that, that that is a thing. It's a real thing, and I I sort of made the analogy that dating is a little bit like that from what pictures you are choosing. Uh, we had somebody who, who did one of our live shows and she's like, well, I make sure that I choose three pictures and one is me looking as good as possible, not overtly sexual, but like in a dress. And two is like mm-hmm. me at a ball game with a hat on and whatever. Just casual and time. I'm one of the boys. And the guy, you know, what came up at one of our shows is the explanation for the fish pick. Are you aware of the fish pick? Is it duck face? No, the fish pick is literally a guy holding a fish that he caught as a trophy or something like that. And the explanation that we got uh, about that is guys don't take that many selfies. They're they're more now, but up until a couple years ago, the only pictures that the guys took were celebratory. (laughs) They're like, here's my softball trophy. Yeah, I won the arm wrestling tournament. Sort of. So like holding up the fish is a thing that a lot of guys had. And so that explains it to to the female. Like that's why we had those. Most other pictures of guys are with other people. And that's not necessarily an easy thing for that to do either. So what are you looking for in a guy? From pictures or just in general? Anything. What do you want to see? Like, what do what, I yeah, want? like if you're if, if if you were on Tinder right now and you're swiping through, are you what do you what do you want to stumble upon? Um, not is actor a no? Do you want to date an actor? Tinder. Um, I feel like <laughs> I've lowered my standards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say you've gone as low as actor. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like anybody? Um, <laughs> human nervous system. Human? <laughs> <laughs> Breathing, endocrine, no, honestly, functioning body. I think for me, more like what I'm, I'm attracted to confident people who will play with me, like have banter and like mm. quick witted. So well, that's one thing. You know, I so say, like a funny you picture. Know, you gotta have like a comic, maybe, maybe, comically yeah, funny picture like in there. Like, maybe ten percent of guys are naturally confident to the level most women want them to be, and ninety percent of those guys are assholes. There's yes. another much bigger pool of men who can be confident if you give them an environment where their confidence can flourish. Sure. So you, like, they're able to make you laugh is confident building for a sure. guy, especially a funny guy. And a lot of women, especially in Los Angeles, they don't mm-hmm. want to mess up the makeup by laughing. They don't, they don't want to get lines in their face. <laughs> who are so, these people? <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Keiko, okay, is, that, everywhere. Keiko is that a thing? The girls don't want to laugh to mess up their, get lines in the face? That is absolutely a thing. Oh, well, I'm just stupid then. Can't be stupid. Honestly, I think the thing that I'm most attracted to is anyone who's intentional. I think um, that's a really big word. And like, Define that big word. Be knowledge. like, hey, I like you. I want to take you to dinner. Not that that's ever happened, but I have it in my – like, yeah, someone who's like, hey, I want to – just being intentional rather right. than waffly or playing games. I, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, I've got too much going on. Like, if you like me, let's try and see if it works and – I think I, yeah. What? Am I so deluded? No, no. no. I, I think it. that sounded reasonable. Yeah, so I, I feel like, and someone who can have good conversation ab- with me about anything and everything, and who doesn't have a bunch of walls up, and is like, this is me. And... Are you on uh, Facebook? Yes, but you can't find me. Well, see, that's, see, now we're getting somewhere. But what I feel like I'm always you? meeting and Who are you? engaging. Michelle with Obama? People? What do you mean we can't find you? In New Zealand, you? I am the <laughs> Michelle Obama. Why can't we find you? I mean, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter no, or anything no. like that. Let's get to the Facebook because that's where the social interaction is. Why can't they? I'm on it, but they can't find me. Like, if I didn't know you, you wouldn't be able to find me. To friend you. To be clear, yeah. you have your. Public I have, sorry, fan I have page. A, that I'm not talking about. I'm talking findable. about your personal page. So no. some guy can't friend. It's you. under a pseudonym. No, yeah, like I would have to know them or have a friend in common for them to be able to find me. That's very standoffish. Is I it? think it's yeah. yeah. more like I totally the, understand so that a lot of people. It. A lot of people have that that are in business. I totally they're in the get it. business. They totally have their own. They have. I'm their, like a huge no, celebrity. Right. That's what I'm saying. No disrespect. <laughs> I'm You're not that famous yet. No, exactly. Nicole Kidman, I get. But no, I mean, I don't want. I have a big fan base of young people. I don't want like my uh, in <laughs> but, New Zealand, but, right? But you could just not accept them. That's my point. Like that, you can't find you is a much different sure. level to to can't you know? Yeah, but I totally understand it. Like uh, in in New Zealand, she's household name famous. Oh. She has a lot of fans there, and maybe a lot of them are young men who think she's very attractive. And letting them get and she's a small 
so weak that she can't open unlocked doors. That's her this words. This is a true thing. Woman. <laughs> and I guess that pole fitness is not working out for not you. Not so much. You're fine. This motion, not so the, strong. She's got horrible she, grip strength. No. And the way to get... Maybe that's why you're not getting any dates. <laughs> no yeah. follow-ups. Like, yeah. she's just... <laughs> her HJ game is way low. Oh, I know. God, but the way to, the, to put Kim... To lock Kim away, all you need to keep Kim in a room, all you have to do is close the door. <laughs> No lock needed. She can't get out. She'll yeah. hang well, from that's the door you know, handle. A very popular first date now is to go to those escape room things I together. Love yeah, that I shit. did one of those. Well, you love that, but you apparently wouldn't be much help. I w- she well, can't get I out of the, the bathroom at the escape room you facility. Should, you should like sc- you get a screwdriver and just practice. With I should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gripping strength. You need yeah. a rope or a carabiner or some kind of pulley system to get you in and out of I need unlocked a whole lot. doors. This past half hour, I'm learning. I need a whole what? lot of shit. <laughs> I came in confident, and I'm like, yo. What is the longest relationship? Relationship you've had three years. Oh, that's good. Thank you. That's a real I was relationship. so young. <laughs> Were you what? Yes. What? She was six. <laughs> uh, I was sixteen to nineteen. That counts. Thank and you. you. Two years. I've had several two-year relationships. Year and a half, two years. Yeah. And then he several goes several back mm-hmm. to back to back, and that's that's your limit or that's their limit. No, that's you're out of jokes. <laughs> no, it's usually me. I, I have not. Uh, I've. Oh, I'm usually the one doing the breaking of the up. Okay. Yeah. That two years is, is a reasonable amount yeah. of time to that you know either stops. Or I've had several or... serious girlfriends, not back to back to back to back. I'm not a serial monogamist, but um, yeah. Are I... you dating mostly um, showbiz people? No, I don't necessarily have a. I date this or I date this. Just I, whoever. Do you have that? No. I Does mean, anybody I have, like... have that? Is sure. anyone yes. like this sure. is my well, list? Well, a lot of the people because they understand the the, the life. I mean, I've I've done that. Oh. You know, the thing I always like is somebody who's available to be dated. That's why you that know, would I like school be teachers because they have summers off and then oh, like, oh they have a schedule. you know or they have a schedule like somebody who's a hundred hour a week corporate lawyer it's tough to date yes oh. somebody who's got three you know kids under five they're tough to date so it's literally about availability of lifestyle a lot of actors tend to date other actors because they understand either the they poverty or, you know <laughs> it, it, they it, understand it, poverty it, they understand <laughs> poverty and they understand but then it's tough because one usually gets ahead in the career wise or they're rarely at the same places in the thing. And it's such an insecure business already. And dating is such an insecure uh, activity yes. that it really leads to a lot of you know, strange stuff. Um, my friend uh, was dating this guy in a band and uh, they started to you know, get a little more successful. And, sh- and I go, secretly, you're rooting against him, right? She's like, absolutely. And yeah, I go, well, she my goes, ex-girlfriend. If he, if he gets big, he's out of here. And she's like, I know. Yeah. And that is such a hard wow. thing for her to, to A, admit and deal with, like, secretly, like, I hope he doesn't get that record contract or we're going to break up. That was an issue I had with my last serious, serious girlfriend. It was my stand-up has been coming more and more successful. I'm doing more touring. I'm doing more colleges. I just was in, in Vegas for a week at the MGM Grand. And, I, and she was like, you know, if we really settled down, I can't have you be all over the place all the time. And I'm like, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Career comes first, I won't ask baby. You. I won't ask you, but I'll ask you. How old I don't you? mind. 31. 31. You do the colleges. Yeah. Are they in play? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, preteen puff. <laughs> Are they? Is a sophomore at uh, at Cal Berkeley a it possibility? It hasn't happened. It would. I don't know. Uh, it, it's a case by case basis, I guess. Well, I, I met this guy who's about thirty four, uh, thirty five in um, in Santa Barbara, and he was a pro, he was a professor at uh, UCSB University. California, Santa Barbara. And he, I go, and they, they are notoriously beautiful girls at that school. Yeah. And I go, is it tough for you to like teach there and you can't date the students? He, he goes, goes, no, he goes, I date them. Yeah, he goes, I can date them. <laughs> and I go, what are you talking about? He goes, I'm essentially a state employee. They can't tell me who to date or not date. Oh, he's like, as long God. as I'm like, he goes, I can date anybody I want as long as they're legal. And he's like, I date students all the time. I'm oh, like, what? He's like, he's like, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> not okay, bro. I thought it was not okay. The state of California feels that it's okay. Wow. Well, the state of California doesn't know. They must have some kind of school no, policy. There isn't. He's a sta- you can't get involved in somebody's personal life if you're a state employee. It's no different if you worked at the DMV. There was well, no. Who wants to date people well, from I, I the get DMV? That, but no, it was. He's like, it, he's like, it's perfectly legal. They can't tell us who to date because it's a public institution. Wow. And I know, I th- so I said it, I'm like, wow. He just looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, I date him all the time. I'm like, what? But the, <laughs> but the military is, and they can't date each other. Military is, is different because military has its own code. State employee is state employee. Mm. So you can't say, like, you're a college person or you work at the, 
Secretary of Commerce's office. They can't differentiate. Well, that settles it. I'm going to quit comedy and become a teacher <laughs> in Santa go. Barbara. That sounds well, fantastic. Well, you didn't answer the question, though. It hasn't happened yet, but the, are you looking at the young uh, co-eds with a, with a keen eye? I am not actively seeking, but I, if that were to happen, I'm not going to be like, I'm, I'm all set. If, if <laughs> Sure, yeah, why not? If, if it's, You're like, would you like to come back to the Ramada or wherever they're put? <laughs> <laughs> Because it's easier to impress a 19-year-old at the Ramada sure, hold than, on, I than to say, Kim. Kim. My room key isn't oh. working. Hold on. I feel like you're putting all these things on me. Like, she won't want to say her age. She won't laugh because her makeup. How old That's not true. How old are you? 25. Oh. All right. That's about what Still I Still waiting for puberty, though. That's what I would have guessed. Yeah. You're going to grow another foot? Yeah. That's I'm horrific. not fully growing. Are, are you done? I grew an inch in the last Am 10, I done? 10 years. Are <laughs> you done growing? You're good? No. No, you're gonna no she really is going to grow. That meant that. Really? Why? Yeah. Did you have a do- you have a doctor's note? Yes, I got a doc. No, I had an <laughs> X-ray. Some hormone. I had an X-ray, and my skeleton isn't full yet. <laughs> well, so you could be six two. I she's know. A, see, that's risky. See, that's risky. I don't know if I want to date that. I know she's literally so unpredictable. She could be she's towering over you. No. no, she's not gonna. You, you, she's not gonna jump up to be I'm, like six feet six one. No. She's. I mean, if she does keep growing, I mean. It probably wouldn't be past like five, six, five, seven, even yeah. still. Maybe, but she's a whole mystery. Tony Robbins had a growth spurt at age like 32. Yeah, but only in <laughs> his jaw. True? That's true. She, she That's worked with fact. Tony Robbins, so she knows. Oh. Did he? Oh, yeah. This is a growth spurt. I was. Um, he just believed in when himself I was, so hard. Between 17 and 19, I went from 5'4 to 6 feet. Good work. Which is. You know, so I stared into the abyss of the 5'4 mm-hmm. in high school. So that was no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No there we go. So you're 25. But you're so fun and approachable. Well, clearly. What, what age are, would you date? I've kind. Of, I don't know. I think we've established she's pretty open to a lot yeah. of I'm, a no. lot of a I lot think, of males. I don't think human. she. She. I think <laughs> because <laughs> she's just too. That's why the guy has no idea what she's looking for. What are you looking for? Someone who's nice and kind to me and funny and intentional. Keiko, okay, cool. we got a hundred guys like that. Live right? human Can't male. You, you say up? that. I'm gonna set you up later this afternoon if you don't I mean, mind. She's oh got. Gosh, we have perfect. so. I'm many like of those. super successful and like financially independent too. Oh, we hate that. Kind of. Kind of. You don't working need us to it. buy yeah, you your Yeah, you can't say that berry? stuff with me around because I know but I'm it's only half on true. <laughs> I know. Will you? So, on uh, have you gone out for a frozen yogurt yet? Yeah, frozen I know you haven't yogurt? done dinner on a date, but has guy bought you a pink berry? No. See, here's the thing. I'm just friends with people. I know, Do I'm you trying. Drink? No, and I don't uh, go out at night. I don't feel safe. Thank you. Uh, now, now we're, we're starting to. Okay. Yeah. I didn't it, want to reveal these things in, about you. I let you, you can, do it. You if, have full permission to if, always know, reveal. If the, if the guy's drinking and you're not drinking, that's a little intimidating. And oh. if neither of you's drinking, that's also a little intimidating because he's like, I can't excuse that I made a move because I was drunk. <laughs> so it. it's a little scary. I'm okay being around drunk people. It's just a personal. You don't drink a Foster's? No, that's so scary. I don't drink either. Yeah. Oh, you don't? I don't. No, I'm just not very good at it. I'm like either like super slut than asleep all in like a 10 minute period. So it's <laughs> That sounds like, like a dream. It's not. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> but it's not safe at nighttime. Like my personality doesn't so you, do well you in the evening. So you don't drink and you don't go out at night so you got to do some day dating with you. Yeah, like after. I love doing out activities. Like I'll bungee jump off something or like let's go paddle boarding. Like, I'm like. Love doing shit that's scary and fun and yeah. Somebody winching or wakeboarding. Somebody or in surfing. Denver said that all the guys want to go hiking, and the girls said if we really yeah. want to go hiking, they should serve wine on top of the mountain. If I'm not that girl though, if I'm you like, don't want wine, I'm, you really just want to hike. She I wants a to... high C ecto cooler at the top. <laughs> do you belong? Do you belong to any like um, volunteer groups or meetup groups or anything social? Uh, no, I, don't I have like an a improv class to be. Clear. That is social on I Saturdays. Um, That's all I haven't really been here in the summer too long, but on Saturdays we'll try and do like volleyball and stuff like that with a group of friends. So we have I have like a good network of people. What part of town do you live in? If you don't mind me asking, I live in the valley, but I love. What's I used the exact to... address? There's not a real volleyball <laughs> scene. Over I there. go to Malibu. I really like Malibu and <laughs> Santa Monica. No, where you want to go for volleyball is Studio it... City. <laughs> yeah, that's where. Yeah, that's where. I'm... Same for Chinese they, they food. Set it's it up in the parking lot. Okay, and you know. and uh, you. What is your age you. when you were uh, on OK Cupid or whatever you were dating? What yeah. was your age range that you were looking for? You were twenty nine then or something? Yeah. Uh, well, I was seriously on OK Cupid like four or five years ago, so I was like twenty six, mm-hmm. probably anywhere from like twenty two to thirty two. It's a good range. Yeah, I think every should, you guys should have at least ten years. Yeah, because there's always exceptions on on mm. either side of the equation that might be fine that might work out. Once you hit about twenty seven, then you can go about eight years in either direction. But if you're at twenty five, 
eight years down is not okay. Well, I don't know. When I was 25, I don't know this girl who was like 18, and they're like, what are you doing with an 18-year-old? When I was 18, I couldn't get an 18-year-old. <laughs> I was, what you doing? remember I was short. Yeah. So I what are you doing going out with an 18-year-old? Uh, killing it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> I think it's what it's called. I think it's called. Uh, dropping her off at her spelling test? Well, I know. I guess I should have been a professor at UCS. Yeah, exactly. you'd be cleaning up. Who well, are your, your friends? Steve-o well, friend. who knew? So, a guy... If he comes up to you and he gets your phone number, has that mm-hmm. happened in 2016? No. no. Do you have a phone number? It's like, it's, I don't give out my phone and number. And I'm so forthcoming with information. Uh, okay, clearly. It's far it's too she, forthcoming. She'll tell me her age and her place of work, but no Facebook. <laughs> get away from me. It's not that. We can be friends, but I've met you. I don't want, like, I right, have so nieces and nephews I, yeah, and all that me, weird. I'm, like, I'm you no, may be creepy I'm, rapey, well, and I'm, I don't want right, to get you, like, like you're not getting around. Yeah, I, I'm no <laughs> Thank you. Me? Like, you generally or me specifically? <laughs> no, you're fine. I okay. just meant you, the okay. person. You know rapey. at the beginning of the porn where the girl next door is just, yeah, okay, that sounds good. That yeah. sounds like just saying yes to everything. Yeah. That's Kim <laughs> all the time. <laughs> She's I've taken like, improv too far. I'm like, yes, and... Yeah, she's just this little cute fawn that goes, okay, we can go into that alley. I like making people happy, and I cannot believe she hasn't been chopped to bits. I feel so protective, have like you, she's going to get have herself Have you always been blonde? Yes. So you, Except you, for work, I've had to be a brunette or a redhead. Right. Does that change? Do you feel differently as a brunette? I feel redhead? lesser than. <laughs> <laughs> would be the way to describe well, it. Well, redhead's good. I always, say that, too? I always say that we notice like we notice the blonde, <laughs> but we remember the redhead. Okay. Ooh. So there is an advantage to the red hair, but you felt God, less, I less you. Um, redhead, I felt like, uh, I actually did feel like I had sass and a bad attitude, and I liked it. But that was like, your, it wasn't real. That was, I just, did like, you hear and, her? That was her American attempt at sass. I, sass I, I just endowed I myself with it. that, because I was like, oh, yeah, fucking whatever, I don't care. What? You can maintain, like, confidence for, like, four or five seconds, and then it crumbles. I watch <laughs> it happen on your face, you're like, yeah, I've what got is, <laughs> What is the difference between uh, Kiwi guys? Was that good? That Kayla? was good. That, that was, was the good. best one by was, far. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. I felt and, like I was uh, getting the hang of it. I'm getting there. Can't and uh, an American guy. Um, if there is one. Yes, the there is. I like... The Kiwi guys are a lot fluffier. They have this white outer shell <laughs> yeah. thing. No, Kiwi guys are not intentional at all or have feelings or emotions. Like That isn't what they have. Like I mean, they have it, but I would say their emotional range lies between a four and a six, and that's it. <laughs> Whereas I feel like Americans in general are far more articulate and like intentional and ask questions mm-hmm. and stuff. Just that, not what's your phone number. Just not like follow through questions. <laughs> yeah, do not. Just not. Would you like to go would you out like with to me? My but Facebook it's also, friend. Yeah. yeah, it's also what I'm attracted to, though. Like I think I'm attracted to people who are really goal oriented and doing well. So I tend to go for maybe people who there isn't a future. And what with is that the biggest either. difference living here versus living there? In life, or yeah, in date- life, in, in life, day to day life, not in terms of dating. Like, what do you think is like? This is oddly American. Um. Well, L.A. and specifically because I can only really speak to that I think culturally New Zealand's definitely a culture of contentment so I come from a place where people are like really happy you know they have their job they have their family it's definitely more mellow like we'll go to the beach for a day like there's no watching the clock and it's mm-hmm. a slower pace good family values all that kind of stuff which I love and I'm so glad that that's part of my upbringing and what that's about I feel like LA specifically is a culture an ambitious culture it's this treadmill everyone's go 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 and I feel like my personality recognizes itself in its home here because I am that fiery and excited and I have so much I want to fucking achieve like Mm -hmm. that I'm like yeah like I love it here and I don't fit in at home because I'm like have you been in New York I feel like that's too far because it's like <laughs> that's too far in that perspective. Mainly because everyone's awake at night, and I'm like, it's nine o'clock. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like I'm in bed you by nine date o'clock. You should like a senior citizen. Yeah. Like, that's a good probably because I'm like, let's talk about the stories. We could knit. We can talk. I'm gonna go away while you're on your nap. We'll come back with we'll nap together. Yeah. We both like soft food. We so can have like... raisins and play shuffleboard. <laughs> good. So Ooh, Matt you're right. On. I'm fine. Old ass motherfucking guy. Yeah, that's you got you got any of those for her? Okay, go. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> You'll I make a call. She'll make a call. Yeah. Yes. And what is the difference for you between sh- the Midwest, between Chicago and Los Angeles, as far as dating or girls or whatever? Um, well, the, the I I like the, the girls out here. I have found are um, a little bit, especially in LA. It's a very small bubble. But they're they're very self promoting. They're very um, follow me on Instagram. They're very 
brandy, mm-hmm. and that's kind of gross, super <laughs> gross, repulsive, gross. Thank and you. Um, what I said, thank you. Yeah, man. I feel the same way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I feel uh, we have kindred are, spirits, bro. Are, were you guys sort of like if you played a a, a doctor, you'd have to go like shadow a at a hospital for a little while yeah. a cop did you guys have to like step up your social media uh, learning curve at all uh we're both kind of ninjas at social media which is nice um we didn't really have to learn much i have never seen anyone take as many selfies as i did with kim on set mm-hmm. i was like oh my god and it's not and i will say that i will not i am not making fun of kim it is for her bazillions of fans back in new zealand who are itching for more images of Kim's big stupid face. <laughs> Brandon, they're are, not all of just my face. Are there, they were good are there shots. pole fitness shots? E, what, online on yeah. the internet? Sure. Are there Send them to your volleyball Santa on Barbara the beach? Buddy. <laughs> sure, yeah. The beaches okay. of Studio City. I mean, I'm trying to take photos not because I'm like, oh, I'm so fucking good looking. Well, More I mean, like, hey, I'm cool doing this are you, cool how, shit. How yeah. cognizant are you of like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show myself putting a piece of uh, sushi in my mouth. No, I don't make it a chore. She I just, has a whole separate sushi I do, Instagram. <laughs> no, I do a lot of cool shit, and I'm very lucky that every day there's like a lot of cool shit before 6 like, p.m. Because cool my life is dope, happening. and I do dope shit. Well, I get to, like, until the sun I goes down. I swam with sharks three weeks ago. And do, Here? No, in New Zealand. In Studio so City. I'm always like trying to, yes, in Studio City with the volleyball net. <laughs> I'm trying to do that kind of stuff and do that, and yeah. Have you jumped out of a plane? Actually, it's on my goals this year to get my skydive license so I, I can jump out I'm, of a hot air balloon. I'm, it's awesome. I'm both scared of heights mm-hmm. and scared to fly. Well, I've, then I've, have I got I've an twice, for you? Well, I've twice jumped out of a plane, hey. and people were like, how could you jump out of a plane? I'm like, I couldn't wait to get out of the plane because I thought it was going to crash. So it. my fear of flying was actually worse than my fear wow. of heights. I couldn't wait to get out. Yeah. Skydiving's awesome. Skydiving yeah. was actually so okay. Fun. Bungee scares me more. It's I much did more the dangerous. world's biggest that bungee big, that one a couple of Ze- days. That's a New Zealand thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah I did that. With a GoPro taking a selfie. So there you go. That's oh, the kind of pictures. Oh, now See, maybe yeah. that's it. Would you bring a GoPro on a date? That would be interesting. No. That'd right? be a good web show. Wouldn't yeah, it? that would be a good show. Just, and it could just, just be called "Let's dates. Figure Out How She's Failing at Dating," and it's just like we just no, open a platform. Keiko K- K- like... over there is an expert. She's got a bunch of guys. She's gonna be. She's gonna hook you right up. I am totally gonna hook you up. I can hardly wait. <laughs> I, I, I know. Get, wrap, let's wrap this up. I gotta get to work. Here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We we do actually have to wrap this up soon. Uh, one more question for you guys. So, the show. How can people, first of all, how can people watch it? And eonline.com or just Google hashtaggers. You'll find it. Mm. It's just hashtag. Are you wrapped for the season? Yes, we're finished with the first season. We're we're fingers fingers crossed for the second season. Um, And uh, it's really funny. It's when I first heard about it, it was going to be on E and I was like, E doesn't do really funny comedies and it's going to be on the web. I went, oh, this isn't going to be very good. Then I read all the scripts. I was like, this is pretty funny. Uh, The guys who do it, the production company behind it Mm -hmm. are extreme. What what are they? Stunt? What are they called? Stun creative. Stun creative are extremely talented. Yes. They they do a lot of promo stuff. They do a lot of branding stuff. They're They're killers. They're good. Yeah. Uh, So the show looks and feels and the episodes are like eight minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they were supposed to be three to five but because the four of us were shit were shooting the shit so much and adding so many jokes it, and stuff they they it's had to the be right like six, amount to, to digest um quickly right mm-hmm. it's 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 not a web series it's a tv show that's on the web it is you know? no i agree it's a full-fledged show it's There's... way better than it has any business being i have There's all not... these friends who are like i thought it was going to be like i have so many friends i'm on a web series i'm on a web series then they watch it and they go that was like a good show weird oh, keiko an amazing guest you guys have too. Yeah, Who's been do. on William, your show? Okay, William Shatner. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Will Sasso. Ian Ziering. Stassi Schroeder. Snooky. Like yeah. it was just. I know. Absurd. Chris, I mean, like Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith's probably like if if I want to do my uh, something on the web, I'll do it myself. So yeah. for him to sort of mm. do it, yeah, good. And man, is he and funny? He was so yeah, he's cool. Super funny. We he's, got to just sit with him for a whole day. Yeah. Like literally, we would. He's there. one of the best storytellers. Yeah. Ever. But he's improv funny too. He, we were all sitting at this coffee shop set. He sits down with us. We're all, you know, we get everything set and we're, okay, Kevin will be here in five minutes. Kevin will be here in two minutes. He sits down and goes, hey, kids, how's it going? And we are double time improv joking around. Do with you him guys have for 45 uh, a minutes. lot of freedom to, to wing it and do whatever you want? Surprisingly, so a ton. I think this was definitely the coolest show that I've worked on for that reason. Like, 
it was the it, everything was perfect. We all got got along great yeah. more than anything. We're being able to take a pass on the script, so we feel like we're actually adding value to the best of our ability where we are all currently in life, which to me was so rewarding. That's why it was so fun because they let us add jokes and they trusted us right away to be mm-hmm. funny. This was my I've been doing nothing but stand up for nine years. This is my first like major acting thing, mm-hmm. and on the first day, the first take of the first scene. They said action. We did the scene. And before they said cut, I just like added another line I thought might be funny. And the producers over the wall, I heard them laughing in the little video village where they're watching. And then Kim and Patty and Carl jumped in with other funny lines. And the four of us did an improv for like a minute and a half. And they're just howling, dying, laughing. They go, cut. That was great. Let's keep doing that. And we all went... Oh, can we just Dude. can we just add stuff? Oh, this is gonna be great! I know yeah. there's such good freedom, especially on something like that, and the format sort of lends itself to it. Do you audition uh, as a Kiwi or as an American generally? <laughs> uh, as an American, pretty much always. Do you dream in Kiwi still? <laughs> I do dream, and as yeah, as soon as I go back there, I have to drop the American because I'm like, what the fuck? It is takes that? her way longer to count yeah, sheep. But, yeah, because the people back there would be like, what's happened to you? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> But I think, yeah, it, totally. But no, I mean, I mean, most of the roles I'm going for are like you're part of a family dynamic, so they can't randomly just have some and kid who's like... kid from New Zealand. <laughs> can, you, can you do an American Southern accent? Oh, like a, te- oh a Texas one? Like from Texas? Well, there's, yeah. a, look at there's me. a difference Southern? between a twang and a drawl, so yeah. it's here. <laughs> I'm better mimicking. Can you do you something? No, Texas? no, this is a cold right. audition here. Dallas. This is cold. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Texas. Yeah. Huh? I, I, don't I'm, help no, I, I don't want I you to help me from Texas. Well, you don't get to Texas. help in an audition. Yeah, Samantha Ray. Yeah, I have a friend from Texas, so she's always <laughs> like, Samantha Ray, get in here. Get in here, Samantha Ray. That's pretty good. Is that pretty okay? Good. What about uh, that like was a Jersey l- Shore? What about like Snooki? Can you do like a, can you do like a Jersey Shore in New York? So. Can you do a proper Brit? Yes, I can do British, of course, but that's because <laughs> I grew up with it. It's much easier. Yeah. <laughs> and you? You got impressions? You got accents? You got oh, anymore? man, I can do strong bad. Any strong bad or Homestar fans in the house? Not a one. No. Yeah, that should yeah. come in handy. <laughs> anyway, where can they find you guys each uh, personally? Well, not on, not on Facebook. <laughs> all right. If they want to be fans and see, and see selfies of you doing all sorts of daytime activities. <laughs> I fucking where, love daytime activities. <laughs> where do they I find you? I feel like you make that such a bad thing. I'm like, that's okay, It's right? bad if you're 25. You can, is it, though? A little. Is that my see, thing? Because I'm like, it keeps you out of cocktail dresses. It basically keeps you in sweats all day long. I love sweats. I know. Have you, you seen the moon? <laughs> you know the moon. You know if you you've heard about the moon. <laughs> I've heard but have you seen of the moon. I want to say a it's K- great. Kiwi moon. Um so yes, you can find me on all things social media at Kim Crossman. I'm at Pete Gercio, P E E T G U E R C I O. It's really hard to spell. Pete like Pete's coffee. Up. Pete like Pete's coffee. I'm at heypete.com. Hey Pete, P E E T. You guys were fun. Watch this hashtags. Is it's really funny. Everybody watch hashtags. And date me. <laughs> and, and she's eligible and she's super cute. And date so. me. Uh, maybe you <laughs> can figure me. out what's wrong with her. Yeah. Um, we don't know. No, but Keiko's going to take care of that. She's going to hook you up. Uh, she's going to validate your parking and she's going to find you somebody. <laughs> and, date. And, you, and you too, Pete. And uh, as far as Just us, for me. go to uh, greatlovedebate.com. Check our tour schedule. We have a live show March 10th at the Hollywood Improv. We are uh, doing 15 shows in... Um, Chicago. In Chicago. We're doing 50 shows in Minneapolis. Jesus. We are oh going goodness. Atlanta, Denver, New York, all over the place. Follow us at Great Love Debate social media and shoot us an email if you have dating questions or if you want uh, Kim's form, phone number, or Pete's. Great Love Debate at gmail.com because at the Great Love Debate, we never stop making love. See you next time. It's the great Love Debate. This is Corolla Digital.